Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Proctor, we're back again with a new video, this is Seth's Warlords Battle Cry 3 review, let's go y'all, wait is that the dude from Bucky, Mr. Beast? There is an unwritten rule enshrined in the ancient landscape, you must unconditionally uh -huh. love India, because what? no matter how powerful or self-important you feel, diaper cynical crinkle, diaper alive, as a YouTuber, diaper you bow what the to the same tech center in New Delhi, Damn. and you live by their mercy, because with a single click, Rakesh and Pajit God damn, can Rakesh. your God, entire big ass cities. My channel is firmly aligned with Lord Ganesha and mm, the Indian people, Ganesha. for your tech support is now your tech master. <laughs> hey, hey, people, Seth here. Hey, hey, Warlords Seth, Battle what's up, Cry buddy? Free is a oh, God, what is this? RTS that I've been 97% of people like this game. All right. Play. Appropriately, we'll be playing this on my laptop, which may be described as a haphazard oh, collection God. of live wires that'll shock you if you ever touch the top oh, of it brother. personally i like to call it rustic many years ago it stopped working uh. until i dug up the instruction manual and ripped out the thermal sensor this is incredibly safe don't let the Absolutely. avril lavigne and m, &M stickers tell you otherwise Ooh. it can no longer support a battery and i jury rigged a new power switch because i broke the old one but hey it's got excellent airflow and the exposed <laughs> left speaker it's barely a laptop anymore, Seth. To listen, I have the parts. For all to enjoy. Just as long God as you damn, don't move it, touch it, and whatever you do, oh. don't put it on your lap. Cook the meat. You get burns. It's a piece oh, of shit. He actually cooked the meat. Well. You know what else has served me well? Bro, my I'll be honest with you. When I was in college, I used to like when during winter, I would put my laptop and play with it on my feet. It would heat me the fuck up. Like, hey, it worked, okay? Sir, it was cold. Rewriting all of my lines. <laughs> hey, gang. Tell kind me of sad now I think about it. like being spied on? Being watched? Oh, guys, this is a VPN? Move you make cataloged and Seth. sold off to the highest... God damn it, Seth. Seth. ...to find out how you can get free months for free. Mm -hmm. Also, turns out everything I did before was completely unnecessary because this game works on Windows 10. The early 2000s gave oh, us shit, a lot it of does? RTS games. That's crazy. A lot of them played exactly the same. Mechanics were so standard that no one deviated from the orthodoxy. It was mm. only later the that orthodoxy. the genre had its theological schism, resulting in squad-based RTS and eventually culminating Warcraft in Three. League of Legends I love that game. heresy that plagues us to this very what day. What do you mean heresy, Lord's brother? <laughs> Good game. Cry Free Sometimes. is no different. It's Age of Empires, <laughs> except the Turks have a much more accurate. Hey yo, I can't believe we're for... getting married. Ooh yeah yeah. Show me the wife, whose brother. At first we were all putting by the way we were harassing people online. Really what? Depiction. You collect resources, build buildings, <laughs> produce troops, and crush your enemy. There's nothing okay, entirely bro. unique here, mm -hmm. except your hero, of which there are 28 God different classes damn. and 17 Deep. different races. Anything this game lacks in originality, bro. it makes up for with a sheer volume of content. And a main way to experience this is through the campaign, which mm -hmm. is largely a multi-choice sandbox where you travel across the land looking Cure for an everybody. excuse to kill someone. Story. You play as a cosmic ICE agent Why is receiving he a report now? that Gorgon, fifth horseman of the apocalypse, uh -huh. has illegally crossed the Ethereum border with intent to cut grass for seven dollars an hour. Damn. As an undocumented illegal. Can't, can't allow let that. This go on. So we Wait, how did he jump over the wall, brother? Ask the dark dwarves. That's not the racist. Dark dwarves. The dwarves of color to cast earthquake on his illegal encampment. <gasps> And seal them inside for uh -huh. all eternity. There's God absolutely damn. no consequence to ignoring the story. And even if you finish it, you get a pop-up saying, Gorgon has been sealed, now go explore. There's uh. no conclusion. No hey, yo, battle, deep dark fantasy. You don't even get to see him. This is the literary equivalent hey, of a toddler starting a sentence, forgetting where he was, and going to sleep. He did. Just as well, because story is not the focus. By far, Fuck the you. best part of this game is the community, which is extremely community. passionate, to say the least. You'll have people I, in common. I have never heard of this game and this is the third in a series i guess saying things like death knight is the best and immediately mm. someone will come out of a woodwork that's a cute that assassin. assassin is gonna one tap them and question hey the yo you can't use those words marriage, anymore nowadays brother to the focus of my hyper fixation <laughs> objectively the best build in a game that's popular with a 10 or so polish men that still play it in the process i'll talk about each Damn, race Poland. what do you say oh, yeah we're talking about races now seth you need to be careful here brother 
Fire is a race that answers the question of what do we have with Yo. whatever you want? Because apparently uh. the only barrier between recruiting demons, uh, demons. and vampires to join your what ranks is, that thing? is socioeconomic. They can pay for random mercenaries that give a taste of every race. Oh, Their shit, that's cool. is sensible and they have access to spell research, which if <laughs> Man, you start a mission, them. unlocks every spell in the game. Alchemist oh. specializes in alchemy, which is the original reason I got into this game. Because Drugs? the very first spell you get cast at a high enough level creates max level items oh, out of thin air. This includes set items that are unique what? to the campaign. This leads to a situation where you spawn in, drink your mana pots, print everything you want, and <laughs> resign the mission. It? Everything in your hero's backpack is safe. Stays which there? Can be sold in the market for infinite money to spend on infinite Okay, stuff. how the hell is set finding these uh, dupes and cheats and uh, whatever you want to call them in every single game, brother? Like, is this what you do, Set? Rise and reinforcements. And I mean, it kind of is, but like, god damn it, every single game? Casting spell forge, which doubles the effect of all your items, turning your alchemist into the strongest unit in the game. Damn. Shenanigans include, but are not limited to, having armor so high you can't take damage, <laughs> doubling your mana regeneration to fill up in seconds, to abusing double rings of resurrection for a 40% chance to revive your entire army each time you take a oh. swing. I have the body of a god! Barbarians or Bam. a fine race. You can set them on fire to go berserk. They're cheap, spammable, and effective what? against larger units. Regardless of class, all heroes are melee. The only <clears> exception <throat> is an ice mage it's who nice. can give himself ranged attacks by casting ice flow. This represents my first failed experiment because the investment is massive and the payout Bam. is garbage. Oof. Everything ice magic yeah, one does, shot. pyromancy does better. And who better for it than a demon? Blood heals sure. me. Death delights me. Pain purifies me. Demons are resource what hungry. What the hell am I looking at? Noxious hit boxes for their buildings. But if you survive to late Those game, big -ass you automatically buildings. win because you're the only race that doesn't pay for troops. More importantly, demon does that happen? snack on souls, which are formed by enemies after being killed by a succubus. This is the quickest way to get hey, mana. And with the right items, I can summon you game mana by sucking. Okay, well, I should have a lot of mana. My own army of them and use them as a self sustaining mana battery. <laughs> Combine that with pyromancy, and every free souls you chow down is another Armageddon inside your enemy's base. Damn. It's my sincere opinion that the funnest build in this game undead. is a necromancer. But since we already get necromancy <gasps> as an undead racial, we play a sage undead for racial. reasons that I shall explain. Okay, dust let's go. We come, to dust we go. Undead are one of the most Damn. unique races in this game because they don't make their own troops. Instead, you have skeletons, which can be morphed at any time uh -huh. into a higher tier unit along different upgrade costs paths. One of these is gems. For you, my lord. Which may Ew. be the earliest. What the hell was that shit? In my ear. of ASMR. Wraiths are the only Hell unit nah. in the game that directly steal XP from units they kill, which includes huh? heroes and even your own troops. So we summon skeletons, which with a memory skill spawn with extra XP, sacrifice them to our wraith, and Bruh. grind it to level 20. Two After that, level okay, okay, okay. Usually... So every single unit in this game has a can level up. It's not only heroes. I've not played that many RTSs. Enough to solo the entire campaign. Jesus. But why stop there? Using divination magic, we can cast Mind Leech, which uh -huh. gives affected melee troops the exact same ability as the Wraith. Zombies have oh. access to Feast of Gorak, an ability that converts dead bodies into resources. As the nice. users pointed out, unit abilities seal? scale with level. So we summon a horde Bash of skeletons, the seal? Mind Leech our zombie, and grind him to level 20. If we summon Frawls from a cage, delete them with Control D and feast their bodies, he prints out more resources more zombies. than we originally put in by having an infinite money oh, printer God. and infinite power scaling we're no longer playing the same game. <laughs> Victory is no longer the objective, but rather a natural consequence of leaving my what is that Doom thing? Knight unattended. Dead Knight? Fae are whimsical creatures of the forest <laughs> and a growing problem Unicorns. in Victory Timer. That's because lore is the most busted research in the game. They're also lore? a cognito hazard. Ew. Oh, bro, that was from, that was from Berserk. Oh god. In a sense, that I don't know the what it was, but hear them, the longer you can't unhear them. At some point, you'll be producing troops so fast they'll be spamming their voice lines in unison. Oh god. This is when most players are driven insane. Can you kill them? Imagine a hero Please? that can outrun and insta-kill any unit in the game. That's now imagine they cancer. also have access to illusion magic and can make invisible. themselves invisible. There's many builds out there, and assassins counter all of them. <laughs> all of them. Just all of them. Lords are the servants okay. of King Ass Ripper, a direct manifestation. Yo, that motherfucker had three heads. 
of anything they that do lives though. or survives the Indian sewage system. They have a contamination mechanic that accelerates disease. Unfortunately, uh -huh. the condition is Not only useful for punishing retreats and doesn't really help you during a fight. That doesn't mean you can't make them work. A ranger can stack points into taming, which adds XP to every unit considered a monster. For Plague Lords, this definition applies to <laughs> almost everything, which uh -huh. is never relevant because you'll win the game by spamming slimes. After slimes. each mission, you get a selection. Are slimes monsters though? Who are these dudes? Your most veteran troops. Bro, there's so much lore I don't know retinue. here. Since this will always be slimes, I find it incredibly funny because along with their veterancy, they get a name. It's oh. no longer just a slime. Bayford. It's Frederick. Also, I never checked which voice lines I gave my ranger, which is apparently Lock up your children. Discord mode. Hey yo. That's a T-Rex. Are lizard men with dinosaurs. These are the old depictions before people realized that God just made oversized chickens. A defiler <laughs> can poison everyone and then cast rot for it to take maximum rot. effect. This translates to an instantaneous loss of 90% of the enemy's HP and a guaranteed win for every fight. Unless they're fighting orcs who are completely... Bro, is every single race in this game cheap as fuck? How does that is all the imbalance balancing each other or is it just like massive imbalance and you pray to God that your imbalance is better than the enemy's imbalance? Completely immune. Scream louder! Orcs are a melee race possessing uh -huh. the goofiest siege weapon in the game, the gob shooter. The bro, gob shooter. Yo, race look at that troll's titties, brother. Why is his why are his nipples so big and why are they so high up on his chest? I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. I don't know what kind of anatomy. Shooter. The gob shooter shoots goblins. Hey, which often it's like in Warhammer. They have this shit in Warhammer, Total War. Die from the impact, but occasionally survive as impact oh, they survive? goblins. They're not I wish they survived viable, there. Unless you play a merchant. Orc Merchants merchant. do absolutely nothing except sit at the back of a base and hope they don't get murdered. The trade-off <laughs> is that the merchant skill and charisma reduce the cost of everything. Oh, you can shit. Play almost Wait, any what was that discount? The merchant skill and charisma reduce the 26? Okay, I thought it was 200%. I was like, what the hell? 30% like, You can play That's almost a lot. any race of merchant. I just have so many spellcasters to cover, but I needed a place to put this. I love the smell of entrails in the morning. Dwarves huh? are the ideal race for turtles. Dwarves. Their engineers count as two workers each time they occupy a mine. And nice. they have a rush mechanic that revolves around excess drinking. Do you like game? Wait, dwarves can rush? Oh, they were. Do you like griefing yourself? Because playing yourself? a shaman is the ultimate shaman core experience. Remember, 99% quit before they win big. And the higher sure. your skill in chaos magic, the higher no. the roll no, in stop. A, both directions. So you either double your stats or reduce your army's HP to one and rage quit the game. There is wow. no in between. Either I win or I kill myself. How Can you do it again though? Or does, do you just get two HP However, then? You can't go lower than one, so if you morph the speed of dwarf berserkers or siege equipment, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Damn. The most important hey, feature fuck. of playing dwarves is that they have the best towers in the game and benefit twice as much from garrison troops. And nice. Now, thanks to the power of RNG, they've become automatic machine guns. Oh my god, it's a power defense armies. game now. It's not the quickest strategy, <laughs> but it's the only one that turns this game into a tower defense. Yeah. Burn the forests, strip the land. Alternative. Hey, bro. Do pretty much the same with dark dwarves. They're more siege focused. Okay, we need to chill with some of these pictures. Their counterparts and replace their armies with golems because Damn. their basic golems can instantly repair for free. Your towers are practically invincible, and in the event they do actually go down, you occupy them with suicide bombers that kill whoever's responsible. A rune Bro. master lets you build quicker and dig. Um, absolutely nothing else. Rune That's magic a spell of dig. might actually be worse than ice. Nobody <laughs> expects the Ethereum Inquisition. Knights are a cavalry centric. Race. Okay, at this point, I'm not sure if these are actual voice lines or he put voice lines in the game because they're so low quality. It could be both. Okay, I'm confused. Very beginner friendly. Night Lords are goofy because they're they give nice. you global morale, which makes every unit attack faster nice. and increases your population cap. I didn't know nice. that last part, which is actually very important for summoners. Buildings are your main source of pop cap, but in some huh? missions, you can't build. So it's worth having a few huh. points in leadership That's because weird. otherwise, you might not be able to summon anything. After tacking up to level 5, every race can produce their Yo! Titan. These are incredibly powerful units. That's a big ass motherfucker. That can't be replaced. And the only thing comparable to their power is another titan. After sinking 30 levels titan. into healing magic, a healer can cast resurrection at level 3. Normally, this revives your dead units. At level uh -huh. 3, this revives everything, including the enemy and their titan, under your direct control. Raw!
How broken is this game? What happened to? Experience could be told to your senile 87 year old grand. Designed to filter Something. new players. And there's a very simple reason. Their builders can't occupy mine. I thought the game had like 10 players. If you don't, it filtered the old players as well. Dark filters Elves everything. have a solution to this problem, and it's called slavery. They're the most magically proficient race with Every a single broad game. range of spellcasters. Assassins can yeah, one trap enemies, black guards can do sneak attacks, and their heroes have some of the most photogenic portraits. What Dark the Elf fuck? Batty, with blood running down her eyes, will captivate they're, the undisciplined They're also emo. Mag yo, look at that model's titties, oh. Hey, yo. Fresh can stab people with those. Men enjoy the goth girl aesthetic huh? because it represents a Rogan? woman that's externally consistent with her inner state. God that is damn. Say, evil. Druids get a lot of summons. Treants are good tanks and faster builders, while unicorns compensate wait, wait, for what what a lot say? of summons. Treants are good tanks. Oh, I heard trans are and faster builders, my while unicorns my brain's compensate cooked. for the race's complete lack of healing. Nature magic isn't insanely powerful, but it's a good mix damn. of everything. Let lesser races beware. Endowed with long life and extreme. <laughs> Prejudice, which they describe as pattern recognition. Uh -huh. High elves are the canonical white boys of Etheria. There's something very poetic about high elves refusing lower class labor, preferring that I summon hordes of demons to occupy their minds instead. A summoner is not only the perfect nice. compliment to elves, it's the only one that's viable because we need to gate in a lot of demons to give them time to execute their strategy. All which elves is? produce wisps, which are their basic builder. Uh, it's Four a of these can merge together to form an ancient wisp, which Big generates wisp. crystal each second. The whole point of this race is the endless feedback loop of infinite crystal economy, okay. which only accelerates the longer the game goes. Damn! Then you make a bunch of archers Late and steamroll everything, because a fully upgraded high elf army has almost no answer to it. Why is it so big? Girl. Wood elves are practically the same race, but worse. Yo? They have the same problems, but bulkier buildings. Their only uh -huh. saving grace is the dryad, which is the source of Damn, All the horny quotes that was a lot of ass there. Oh. Do that again. Stop. But what if I told you, what after you doing to crafting all of these numerous, diverse, and uh -huh. interesting builds, I've been bell curved because the lowest IQ bell? knuckle. No, he's an interesting niche because spell that requires one third four levels of grind has great utility. Also, needs to reroll the map because if the enemy swallows a fighter or assassin, who get one tap two minutes into the game. How long are these games, brother? Tiger will reach the same conclusion as the upper percentile. Just play a warrior. <laughs> Everything a mage can do, a warrior does better. Yes. It's in the name of a title. It's called Warlord's Battle Cry Free, not Neurodivergent Caster that needs 30 levels to get good. Who cares about your exploits when the average warrior will just click a corner of a map and, and kill solo you. the entire mission? His only weakness is running out of health potions, which is why you play a Minotaur. Minotaur is some of the fewest but most upgradable units in the game. But They're most so big. importantly, they have sheep. Sheep, sheep? Cost one gold per unit. And they have actual sheep. Why do they have actual sheep? What is this game, brother? I am so confused. And can be snacked on by minotaurs to restore their health. So we flood the map with a portable sheep. health supply for your one man army. If you're playing this correctly, you <laughs> Bro, should look at how many sheep he has. absolutely nothing. However, after everything I've been through, I refused to accept this answer. There had to be something better. There okay. must. And I and think what I was found better. It. Coincidentally, Swarm is the Swarm. first race I ever played because I thought the name sounded cool. And what did I get? Ants. But regardless, we play Swarm because their race have access to Constitution, which Sc adds 10 Scorpion Lord plus one. HP per level what? class doesn't matter. Just any caster that has access to arcane magic. Uh -huh. And now we create the most hyper specific build possible. Not touching that one. And dump Not the rest into that. constitution. <laughs> you need exactly 31 points of intelligence, which gives you 113 mana. The uh -huh. rest goes to dexterity because we are pathetically weak and need to outrun the enemy. It looks like a fucking deranged dinosaur. We require Why does he run like that? Items. Two fey harps, a wizard's banner, a staff of a master, a robe of the archmage, and most importantly, a Boots paladin's helm. First, we cast mana flow, which stacks with the two harps to give us 45% reduced spell cost. Uh -huh. Then you cast empower, which increases spell strength by 50%. Okay. And command, which stacks with a wizard's banner to increase our area of effect. Destruction is the last spell of the arcane spellbook that deals the spellcaster's current HP Minus one to ah, everything on that's screen, why we're doing that. But because we Wait. empowered it, we deal 150% of our HP, which kills us in the process. Unless you're under the effect of Life Ward, a healing spell that saves the caster from death. Uh -huh. People found out about this, multiplayer was instantly broken, and it was patched okay. out of... When you say multiplayer, 
like how moot is the moot there? The game because healer no longer has access oh, to shit. arcane. That is unless you're oh, wearing a paladin's God, helmet, helmet, which has an on-hit chance of casting life ward. So we start the game, build a wall, get our hero to attack the wall, and charge his paladin's helm. Then we that levels him up. Cast destruction and walk back with full HP. At level 48 with 610 HP, you can one shot. Okay, yeah, but you skipped how you kind of skipped the whole part of leveling up the motherfucker to level 48. What happens if the warrior clicks you at level 20 or 30 or 47? Shot what you the do strongest then? Titan in the game. But is it worth it? No. I did all this so I can cast one spell <laughs> one time and then have to wait like 10 minutes before Damn. I can do it again. I've rationalized myself into a corner and I'm back to the middle of a bell. I spell like to his to make shitty. Oh, go back. God damn it. During the search has my target limit, so it uses it has a max target limit. Oof. Curve. What have we Damn. learned today? Overthinking a 2004 RTS is the peak of being a midwit. Increases your midwit? risk of writing video essays Windy and goon. accelerates your Alzheimer's by expanding the Swiss cheese in your brain. God in damn. high school, we used to choke each other out during art class to get this, a lot. This uh, went on for a while until the teacher caught us. I guess what I'm mm. trying to say with this is Warlord's Battle Cry Free is great mindless fun. And I say is this it? objectively because I have no prior nostalgia. I don't know, brother. This does not look that fun to me. I'll be honest with you. This looks like something. I'm There's not sure what. A lot of love and passion put into the making of There's this game. There's something in There's this game. Details of it still surprises. There's like uh, how you. Why the fuck is there cows in this game? What do the cows do? Why is there cows in an RTS game? You can load cows as catapult ammunition, which give this game a lot of charm. Wow. The voice acting is hand Now please tell me there's a chance of the cow surviving so it comes back and it's live ammunition that can go again. Please. The music is beautiful and the campaign is very replayable. Unfortunately, sometimes well, that's the game a lot crash. This often happens when crossing regions. You get mm. a random encounter and it fails to build the random map. Shit. If this happens, play a skirmish or move backwards on the map and this will usually fix it. Mm. I thoroughly recommend that you Very don't positive. buy it on Steam. GOG uses official patch 1.03, ah. while Steam uses the unofficial patch. Like usual, GOG on top, Steam on bottom. Which Maybe made that's how a Steam very likes unpopular it. change. All summoned units come with a timer, and when this expires, they die. Mm. This completely destroys a lot of builds, so for the sake of your enjoyment, get a copy from GOG. Use <laughs> offer code Chastity Cage. <laughs> they balance the game. For 45% off, hey, yo. there should be a sale, and if there isn't, I'll personally send you a free download link your graphics card may run a little hotter than usual but i assure you uh -huh. the Feria minor will take no more than 10 percent as always, only 10 percent content to come so stay tuned i wish they living in the bulk is okay bro <laughs> i am curious has anybody played this game and if so why first off let's go for through why second off which race in game and what uh class did you play okay let me know in the comments i'm curious anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this like comment subscribe i'll see y'all next time oh my god this brain fucked me bye everybody have a good day